Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to jump right into this today. So I found a couple of newspaper articles that I just figured I would show to you guys. I don't know why they're not presenting these articles to Congress. These have been going on and they've been putting these out ever since the 1940s and 50s. Some of these are from the 60s, 70s. Um, about UFOs and people seeing craft out there. And I just wanted to show this to you guys. So I don't know why people are not bringing this out and showing this to the government. Actually, people have seen it. There's been testimonies and stuff. Or maybe they have and they're covering it up. I'm not 100% sure. But I wanted to show this to you all to get some of your thoughts on. Maybe I'll do uh, a video on a lot of these coming in maybe this, uh, I don't know, towards the end of summer or something. Because some of these are pretty interesting. And some of these you guys may have heard about. But then there's also periodically I get photos and stuff of images like this. And this is pretty weird. I did feature something like this on my channel a while back and someone said they zoomed in and they could make out what you're seeing here with this. Now, whether this is real or not, or some type of balloon or something, I don't know. But it is kind of an it is kind of identified. That's the best way I can put it out there. But we do get weird stuff like this too. We do get people that clear the photos up and show us stuff like this. And then a couple of days ago, I did do a video about a UFO that was in Hawaii, and I'm gonna do a whole series on it because they have a lot of sightings and a lot of video footage of UFOs that have been seen and photographed or videoed in Hawaii. And when I showed this, it looked pretty interesting at different angles. And then of course, when you zoom in like I did here, it is a little bit distorted because it was taken, I believe in like 2015 or 16. So it wasn't the best uh, video, but we did have flight of this. And we did see a couple of things on this craft as we looked at it a little bit closer. As you guys see right there, looks like there's probably some door, maybe that's a camera, or God knows what it is in the front of it. But it's just so interesting how a lot of these UFOs that we see are UAPs have different shapes and stuff to them. And it's just fascinating to me that none of them seem to be the same. I mean, every now and then we'll see some of them that are the same, but a lot of them seem to be different. And I'm going to get into some stuff with maybe Bob Lazar or something about that a little bit later on. But then there's also some weird stuff that people send to me anonymously like this. And they don't want to be identified, but they'll say... I filmed this or I got this photo and this one was taken several years ago and they wasn't sure about it and they kind of got ridiculed because they said someone talked about them and stuff like that. But I wanted to show this to you guys. They wanted to present it to you. And then also people email me because they see stuff out there. Now, this is something someone saw at Stonehenge and they put it out there on Twitter and you guys can't see it at first, but look right there. You see something floating in the sky there. And I don't want to say it's a balloon, but it possibly could be. But I just, I don't want to guess and say that it's this or that. I wanted to get you guys' opinions as well. Because when I zoom in on this, this does look to be somewhat of maybe, a, a, I don't know, maybe a ball-shaped craft. Or it could be an orb. It could be several things. But if you start to zoom in on it as I'm doing here. You can't get the clearest picture of it, but someone did take this as they were taking a picture of Stonehenge and they got this photo of this. And we see this a lot too. And there you zoom in there. Some people may say, oh, it's just a spot on the lens or something, but it's still evidence that we can utilize to plead our case on stuff, which is gonna bring me to this next video. This video is very short, but someone constantly, and I wanna get your opinion on this. So I'm gonna let it play a couple times. It's really quick. If you guys didn't catch that, like I said, I'm going to play it two or three times and then I'm going to slow it down. Because there were two people out there in the pool, as you guys see there. And right there is what they saw. Now, I don't know what to make of this. It does look cylinder shaped, but when you zoom in on this a little bit, I'm going to do this in just a minute. It does look like it has wings. So this could possibly be a bug. But then we heard, I think it was called Rod's Years and stuff ago, where people were seeing a lot of these flying around. People said they were bugs. They ended up being something that they couldn't identify. And this could be it too. But this looks to be pretty big. I just can't make it out. But you do see, as we get closer, what could be wings on the top and bottom of it so this could be a bug um, that was just flying out there and someone caught it on film and as you slow it down and you zoom in on it this is the best i can do with it guys i mean i could try to zoom in a little bit more but this is the best i can make out with this so put down in the comments what you think about this i thought this was pretty interesting 
and something I wanted to present you guys to get your opinion on. Like I said, this could possibly be a bug, but if you go back to the very beginning, you play that a couple of times, it flies by really quick. So it could be a bug. Uh, it could be something else, but I wanted to present it to you guys because they wanted to know your opinion on this. So as always, guys, you can always contact me. There's my email address down in the description. And you can find me on Instagram too. I do have an Instagram page and stuff as well. I'll probably do a Facebook at some point in time. If you have any photos and videos, because like I said, I can't do this alone. I do need you guys' help. And I do appreciate everyone that presents this stuff to me to present to you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. I appreciate you guys watching.